Okay, I'll just show you how to set the sat nav in this uh, 2013 Range Rover from any screen. Just click on nav, and there you've got nav menu, destination entry. So we, we want uh, destination entry, so click there, and you've got postcode. That's the quickest or addressed. So postcode, we're Grosvenor Garage, Chorley Road, Wantley Dale, Preston, and that is P R five. I don't know. No, we don't. I don't think we need a space here. Sometimes in in some you need a space, but that's automatically put a space in if you've only got two digits. So P R five four J S. That's it. We click OK, and then we have to click Go even though we've clicked OK. Please follow the highlighted route. That's it. That's, uh, that's how you uh, set the sat-nav. Now, to knock, once you get near your destination, you don't want it to keep telling you. So if you go back into nav menu there, and then you've got uh, route, vo uh, route voice guidance, and just knock that off. OK, I'll just show you how to delete a, a mobile from the Bluetooth audio system in this uh, 2013 Range Rover. Uh, from any screen, if we go onto telephone there, you'll see there the, there's nothing connected. So it's come up to this screen. There's two phones in the memory, and I want to delete Barry's iPhone there. So just click Delete. Delete Barry's iPhone 11. Yes. And it's gone. It's a really simple system to use this. OK, I'll just show you how to pair a mobile to the Bluetooth audio system in this 2013 Range Rover. Uh, first of all, we make sure that Bluetooth is on, like so, and then we keep an eye out on the bottom here. But then, to phone on the settings, it's showing there a phone that's connected, but we want to search for new. Search for new. I usually go for vehicle to device, as it, it normally generates a random pin code, and you just have to agree with it rather than putting your own in. So it's, it's looking for a phone there. I often confuse these cars because I, I've just deleted this phone and now I'm pairing it again. I am using this car at the moment. So uh, there you go, it's, it's pulled up Barry's iPhone 11. So tick that. To pair and connect phone, enter 0345. So 0345, there. Allow contacts and favorites to sync. I will be using this car, so I'll allow that showing Range Rover Sport connected there. Another great thing with this system, it, it is um, the audio, the sat-nav, uh, the phone, all easy to use, all very, very good quality. So if we go to iTunes here, you'll see there at the bottom Range Rover, Range Rover Sport. If I just took, touch on that, it, uh, it's a red triangle and three red circles. But you see there Range Rover Sport and there's a tick next to it. So whatever I play through my phone is going to play through the system if I've got it on the right channel. So I'll turn this down so it doesn't startle us. Press play. And then over here, what I need to do is go to audio video. Now this is showing already. It's the, the tune is playing on here. But if it's not, you see my music, third one down on the left, and there's a plus at the, at the right hand side. You click on the plus and then that gives you the choice of DVD, iPad or anything. So again, I'll just show you that again. So onto audio, video, my music, plus, and then we select my iPhone there. So whatever, I'll, I'll turn this up. And the reason I've turned it down on here is that uh, I can't play it for, for too long, otherwise I'd get a copyright strike or YouTube would cut the soundtrack uh, off this for copyright issues. So if I now turn this up on my phone quickly, There you go, that's uh, any music, and you, you, you can use it for Spotify, anything that's playing it, it, it if I'm watching a YouTube video or something, uh, not while I'm driving obviously, but if it's on my, on my phone, then the soundtrack comes through the, through the speakers as well. So it, it is a really, really good system. Um, I, I can't fault Range, Range Rovers, everything about them is fantastic. Thanks for watching.